morning everybody. This is Day Drifter. Just giving you a report on the inside of the van. The picture there is my mom and dad. And uh, I just went on my first trip as a memorial trip to my mom. Her birthday is May 1st. Um, she passed away three years ago. And so what I did is I got the van all prepped and got my baby girl Monica with me. And we went to California. Came back. I just want to show you how the van looked for the go. On the top, I built uh, two two by fours that I notched so they would set inside the walls themselves. I had got a little in and out fan <coughs> at a thrift store um, in case we were hot in the back end, didn't have to use it. That black tub there is a two foot by three foot cement mixing tub I got at Lowe's that I thought if we needed anything for uh, using that for, I was thinking the portable shower, we could use it. Um, for water, all we did was bring bottled water. We had two cases of that. My walker, which I didn't have to use. Right now there's just lots of space back there, but you can see I did bring games in the camp shower and a dustpan and a broom um, or whatever. I also had, this is the shower stall that you pop up. It's really nice and an emergency kit for the vehicle and extra extension cord. And a step stool down there. Then we come inside. In the front, you can see I put the shower bar up. I used two of the straight sheets from the sheet sets that I bought. Um, I brought emergency wasp and hornet spray <laughs> uh, for the bad guys. I could get them at 27 feet. And miscellaneous stuff there. I used two plastic totes under the temporary bed frames for clothes. Sorry, and miscellaneous. My daughter used this side while her stuff was here. That white tub, which is just a dish pan we did end up using for sponge baths. That worked great, along with this professional squirt sprayer bottle that I think I got either from Lowe's or Home Depot. Very good. So it kind of soaked up in the tub. There that is again. And then rinsed off with the squirt bottle. Worked great. I have a hospital bed table that goes up and down, which I'll put down for right now. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Okay, hopefully that's still recording. Okay, there's the beds, I'm gonna back up. It was really comfortable. The loft overhead, the beds. Oh, for the back doors, I didn't show you. There's a pocket on that one back door and you can see those two magnets are holding up some black material. The black material would just go up over the door windows with the magnets on either side. Worked out great. Uh, in the loft over there are just quilts inside of pillowcases. On this side that I still didn't finish with insulation, I put flip-flops I bought at Walmart for 98 cents each, just like two or three days ago. And I bought a lot of bungee cords that I just went ahead and stuck up on the roof that I still haven't insulated. This is my turby twist, a great thing for wet hair. You can get them from QVC or used to. I threw some toilet paper up there, but we use mostly wet wipes. More bungees over here, paper towels. Um, my daughter laughed and she said, what do we have the crowns for? I've used those a couple of times for friends that have been ill and I use a magic marker on the other side of them and I write, it's hard to feel down when you're wearing a crown. And so I just thought the crowns were a cute little touch to have hanging. And a little fan that I found that <laughs> reminds me of my disco days. I always had a little fan in my purse or handy. Uh, my daughter insisted, hi everybody, my daughter insisted on a mirror, so with the bungee cords, I put a full length mirror on that top level, which was great, it did come in handy, and then down below is, if you can see it, is a, is a, one of those metal carts you see in lots of industrial places use, again I got that at a thrift store, I think it's Craigslist, but I liked it because it had the lip. I used the picnic basket for 
mostly dishes and miscellaneous. Brought that cute little microwave oven that I've had forever because it had a handle and it used to be my dream to be able to go traveling with a microwave with a handle. We tried to use it one time for soup and in 20 minutes the soup was lukewarm. So I'm gonna try it out for boiling water. If it boils water, I'll still keep it. If not, I'm gonna toss it. Um, down below is food storage, dry goods, and just a milk crate, a miscellaneous stuff in a tote bag. I brought a wheelie cart thing just in case I thought I needed to move something. As you can see back there is kitty litter and what looks like a water jug. Well, this water jug that I got at somebody's yard sale years ago was our potty. And let me tell you, I love it. Um, it's sturdy enough to hold me, and right now I am overweight. So it was sturdy enough to hold me. We put two bags in. The one bag on top, you put a little kitty litter, you use it. We use it mostly just for pee, not poo. Um, but when you were, after you used it a few times, putting litter in it each time, you tie up the inside bag, you pull out the outside bag, and just dump it, you know, like at a campground or a uh, rest area trash can. And that was very handy to have. And you can sit on it because it has just enough of about a rim of about mm, less than two inches, but more than an inch and a half to sit on very comfortably. Um, also, that instant power thingy that I bought, Schumacher from Walmart was also a godsend for the laptops, for the phones. Um, my daughter used it for a curling iron. It was wonderful. And um, so I recommend that. Uh, I can already tell I do want to lower the beds. The beds were comfy. Again, you can see down there I even had a gas can and the stool, my two totes. Um, all good. What else? Oh, in the front. You may notice that we have lights strung around. And those lights I got either on Groupon or Living Social coupons. And they're solar powered. So, and I also got a lot of these little climber hooky things. Carbonators, carbonators, something like that. But the lights, I left enough of a bit of the wire so it could go up onto the dash and they solar charge all day and usually one day's worth will last you three or four days for the lights so we had lights at night with no batteries use at all so that was really good um i began you've seen my prairie skirts on the back of my chairs just to keep them clean and then the curtains going across up on the top we kept our movies in the cubbies i had also bought some of these uh, microfiber cloths which I had read somewhere somebody used them for their bath towels and you know what it's probably a really good idea if you're only taking a sponge bath because these you can hang up and dry really quick where a beach towel you know it takes a while to dry out and where do you hang it you know over your bed mattress you don't want to do that so more more strappy cords but all in all this setup was really comfortable for two people I mean, I hit my head a couple of times on that wood thing, but I learned. And uh, the beds were comfy. And we had a great trip. Um, unfortunately, I hurt my right arm with all the building I did. So I've got a pinched nerve. I'm supposed to be keeping my arm straight. Um, but I, we did take a lot of individual pictures and a couple of videos. And as soon as I can feel like I can sit down at a computer and bend that arm good, then I will go ahead. But the trip was from Tucson um to newport beach costa mesa and we kind of did everything in memory of my mom we went by where she used to live uh we went and ate sushi at her sushi place we drove down the coast all the little antique shops she used to do business with um we did the newport beach um marina tour my daughter talked me into going on ski doos not something my mother would have recommended, especially with my bad back. But again, um, it was all for my mom. I love her. I miss her. And she would have loved this van. And she would have loved me and Monica going on that trip. 
And of course now I'm getting emotional, so I'll quit for now. But within a day or two, I'll get those pictures up. Bye guys, take care. Day one of our trip, Newport Beach, just at sunset. <laughs> so she says. <laughs>